Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our Friday night of crafting fun. I am super excited. I think I just gave you like googly eyes, like, I'm really excited. <laughs> no, I'm really excited. I had so much fun crafting um, with the Life is Beautiful stamp set, and I talked to a couple of you on the phone, and somebody said, oh, I really want you to use that set. So it was on my wall to create with, and so I'm really excited to share with you. So I'm gonna look down, and hi, Sylvia. So Sylvia, you know, your card that you sent me was stunning, so I can't hardly wait. Um, I'm gonna be sharing that. Hi, Louise. Oh my goodness, and I have your little um, book here. I have to show you, Louise. Here it is, right here. I have your cute little book that you created for me. I absolutely love it. And so I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And it's got the little tag in here. Okay, so I just, you know, I saw that you were in here and I thought I would share that. It's absolutely beautiful. Hi, Arnetta and Jennifer. Barb, oh my goodness, there's so many of you guys. Robin is in here. And Robin, I sent you the links to the Fall Creative 8 Retreat. I'm gonna get that email right, I promise. I swear, sometimes it's like, oh. <laughs> so thank you, my friend, for sending me that reminder. And Susan and Renee, hello, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, today is October 9th of 2020. So if you are joining me after this date, then you are most likely watching our replay. Okay, so of course I've got some things to share with you guys because I wasn't able to join you last Friday. You know why? Because we were doing the Creative 8 uh, Fall Online Retreat. It was amazing! For those of you that joined me um, and the other ladies, thank you for joining us and I hope that you had as much fun as we did sharing. It was a crazy, crazy fun day and so Friday night of last week we did the Get to Know You. And I had so much fun. I came up with the questions and I, um, you know, we kind of talked about some different things and we shared and it was super fun. And what I love is that you guys kind of get to know us on a personal level um, and kind of hear some silly stories and some of our blunders, but it was awesome. And so thank you all for joining us for that. So in case you didn't see it, our next Creative Aid event is January 16th. I had to think about that. So save the date for January 16th, all right? So that is the next one. Um, we have not determined when those, um, when that retreat will go on sale, but we, I will let you know for sure, okay? So I will keep you posted on that. If you missed our fall retreat and you're interested in the tutorials, we're gonna put those on sale and I can show you right here on Brandy's cards. It's not here yet, however, um, on Monday, October 12th, I will absolutely have it here. So you can click, um, you know, my sites. And then of course we have our retired store here. Um, and we will have the fall online retreat available to purchase. So if you scroll down, um, you'll be able to uh, purchase that down here. Okay, and you know, while I'm down here, I'm gonna point out that we also have gift certificates. We're coming into holiday season. So if you're looking to purchase a gift certificate for a friend, um, definitely um, consider maybe purchasing a gift certificate for some Stampin' Up! products. All right, so I'm gonna come back up here. Oh, you know what, while I'm on my website, I'm gonna show you guys one more thing. Um, I wanna point out, I am super excited about this month's host code gifts. And so I've had a lot of emails recently, how do I find the host code in the gifts? It's under promotions, and if you click host code, um, that's gonna show you the host code for the month and the gifts that are available. So that's where you can find that information. All right, so speaking of gifts, I have got some winners from our September 25th event. And I'm super excited, so I did a, you know, for leaving comments and for participating in my live, I, um, there's a computer program that I can kind of type in there and bam, kabam, oh, a couple names come up. And I was super excited. So the two winners in the, in the um, and this is what I promised, I promised the a Merry Hello stamp set. So that is the stamp set that I promised, which is also a host code gift. Um, and so our winner is Linda Montgomery and Susan Drew. So Susan and Linda, congratulations. 
I'm super excited to send you guys these stamp sets. I love them. And, um, you know, we had fun creating some fun cards with them, uh, what, September 25th? And so I just kind of pulled a couple of them out to kind of show you guys. So if you didn't have the opportunity to watch that video, definitely go back and have a look. We made some really fun cards that night. Um, and I'm super excited um, for you to receive that stamp set. So congratulations and thank you for, you know, joining me for my lives and for participating. All right, so a couple of things that I wanna share with you and I've got my papers here um, to kind of keep me on track. The designer series paper sale. So that's going on the whole month of October and it's select designer series paper. It's 15% off. So that's a really good deal um, for designer series paper. And if you go to Brandy's cards, I actually have all the pictures of the designer series paper and I have it up so that you can see them. So right here, if you go to my blog and you click on designer series paper, look at that. That is so nice that you can see what is available um, for that discount. Uh, so I just thought that was a lot easier. Of course, you can download the flyer too if you would like to have it at home, okay? So that, um, that is available to you on um, Brandy's Cards. All right, so that's what's going on for the designer series. Now you guys have probably seen some demonstrators talking about the Curvy Celebrations. That is a new product that is coming. Um, right now, demonstrators can pre-order that product. Uh, it's really cool. I've seen some really cool cards. I can't hardly wait to get my hands on it um, to create for you guys. Um, but this product is going to be available to customers on January, it looks like, Jan I'm sorry, January. No, it's gonna be available November 3rd. So that will be available November 3rd through January 4th, all right? So you guys will see that here really soon. All right, hi Karen, thanks for being in here. And Patricia, Honeybee, Stampin' Hive. That sounds like a fun place to be, I like that. Um, and Denise and Tina, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me tonight. Okay, so. You know what? It's time to pull out our Stampin' Up! catalog because that's always where I start. I always like to start with my Stampin' Up! catalog. And so today we're going to use the Life is Beautiful stamp set, which I absolutely love. And, um, you know, I started out with my Stampin' Up! catalog. So if you take your holiday catalog and turn it to page 51, so this is our holiday catalog. And if you're new to Brandy's Cards, um, thank you for joining us tonight. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, let me know. I'd love to send you catalogs, so just reach out to me at Brandy's Cards. And if you're one of my current customers, you should also have your catalog and um, definitely pull it out and take a look. Turn to page 51, all right? And so on page 51, you're gonna see the stamp set and some, you know, some samples and some ideas. So I'm excited to go next door and do some stamping with you and show you kind of, you know, some of the cards that I created with it, all right? So here we go. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna pull in my catalog in case you don't have it with you. And here you go. So this is the stamp set and I loved the tree. You know, super fun. And I liked the, the, you know, the two trees here. I liked the fall and the winter look. And I even liked this look here where they die cut the tree out. It's fantastic. Um, but you know what? You guys know that I love backgrounds and I like to kind of get funky with some of this other stuff. So I'm excited to kind of show you, um, you know, where I took it and kind of what I did with it, all right? So I'm gonna pull in my computer here. So now I can't see comments very fast, but um, I am, you know, I will look up every now and again and try to catch comments, okay? I do have Amanda in here with me and Amanda will help answer questions. You may see her in there. Um, Amanda helps me all the time and um, I'm just so grateful for that. So thank you, Amanda. Okay, so life is beautiful. This is where we're gonna start. We're gonna start out super simple. Um, let me just pull this back in. So, you know, I was looking at all of these cards and they're quite simple. I liked how this one was maybe pool party with the pool party layer on top. So what I decided to do was take it with a white card base. And so here we go. Let me reach over here and grab some of my things so that I can share with you. All right, so here we go. Hang tight. 
All right, there we go. So what I have is I've already mounted my stamp set and I have my tree and a very dirty block. My, oh my, oh my. Okay, so I have my Whisper White cardstock. I'm just gonna fold that in half. And then what I've done is I actually cut another piece of Whisper White cardstock and that piece is what I am going to use. And it looks like that piece has gone MIA on me. Nope, there it is right there, super, okay. So I have it right here. So I've just got another piece. Now this piece is basically going to mount inside of here, okay? So that's where that one's gonna go. And we're gonna just, you know, we're gonna start out with maybe spring or summer, all right? So on this tree, I'm gonna use early espresso. I played back and forth with my soft suede and my early espresso, and I, honestly, I'm gonna show you another card in a bit that I used the soft suede. But today, for this card, I'm gonna use early espresso. And I'm just tapping my tree. Now what I have found, if you tap too much and you kinda of get too much ink, then you lose some of the definition. So you just kinda of wanna be careful of that, all right? So I'm gonna kind of stamp it off to the side because I want to have my sentiment. See, look how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. Amanda and I were talking, it's kind of like the uh, tree from the Wizard of Oz where he's like, you know, whoa, got his little, you know, little tree branches kind of all around, you know. He's kind of a fun tree for um, Halloween too, really. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna pull in garden green. Now I played with the greens too, trying to decide which color green do I wanna use? And so I'll show you, um, I'll show you a couple different versions of that too. So I'm gonna pull out the leaves of that stamp set and I'm just going to make sure you guys can see me okay. You wanna ink it up. And so what I have found, if you have a really juicy ink pad, which I did not bring a spoon, but if you have a really juicy ink pad, sometimes you can lose the definition in the stamp. So what I would recommend is you could take a block if you wanted to, and you can kind of move the ink to the sides. Of course, you can push it back, right? But this is just in case you're using, you know, one of our stamp sets that, um, that you know, if you have too much ink, it just kind of takes away some of the definition, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are going to stamp this guy, and let's see here. I am gonna start up over there. Oh, how cool. So I just thought this was so much fun stamping this. And I did it like so many times practicing for you guys. And so as you can see, I'm kind of stamping off, right? So I'm stamping it on and then I'm stamping it off as well. So I've just inked it up again because I do want some darker leaves maybe up in there, right? And sometimes if I wanna add another light to it, I would just stamp it off and then you can even bring it out further with maybe some more light there too, right? So you just kind of have to play with it and be patient. Um, but I really liked that. And do we want some more down here? Maybe, let's, let's see. Do we want another one right around here? Sometimes less is more and sometimes it's like, oh, don't, <laughs> I probably should have stopped. Um, but no, I think that looks great. All right, so I'm gonna clean that because we're gonna be using this guy a couple of times tonight. So let's clean this up real quick. I have my Simply Chamois, which is amazing. I love that thing. Yes, I do. Okay, look how pretty that is with that early espresso and that garden green. Um, the colors just really look nice together. Okay, so we're gonna bring back in early espresso and I have my tree. And so, you know, let me grab the stamp set. Um, you know, one thing that I liked about this set is that it had the little birdhouse, and I love the little birds, right? And of course, I liked these sentiments and things too. So, um, you know, I thought I want to make sure and incorporate some of these other pieces. So I'm going to ink my birdhouse up in early espresso. I'm not going to worry too much about how it turns out because I actually want a red birdhouse. That's right, I actually want a red one, not really a, an early espresso birdhouse. I did want some early espresso birds though. And so what I ended up doing is I stamped my birdhouse a couple of times. I have a very inky red 
real red stamp pad. It's very inky and it kind of loses the designs. I like the detail in the, you know, kind of the rustic, you know, older looking when you stamp it off of, of the, the second one here. So what I did is I actually cut it out. That's right, so I cut it out and it is little, but it's quite easy really. Um, it's not too terrible at all. And I'm gonna add a mini glue dot behind that and I'm gonna add that right to the top of my little birdhouse. Perfect, okay. Well then I was looking at this card and I thought, you know, I really like these birds, but I wanted them to be like different colors. So yes, I did the crazy thing and I decided I was gonna cut them out. Okay, so it's not for everybody, no, mm -mm. but it's not really that hard either. So, whoa, that was a big glob, oh my. See, it happens to all of us, right? Let's see, how is Brandy going to get that cleaned up? Hmm. We're just going to go right in and just, you know, we might need to pull out the booger eraser is what we might need to do. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and just stick it down and see if we can't cover it up. He's just going to be like soaking in glue for right now. It's the beauty of live TV, <laughs> right? So up here, I decided with a little bit of a less dot of glue that I would put my bird right up here and so I thought it would be really cool to kind of have him flying in so that's actually this bird so let me show you because you guys are like okay that makes no sense what she's talking about um, so what I ended up doing and I'm gonna get rid of this because we're done with this for right now so what I did is I cleaned my bird house and I stamped it again in pretty peacock and then I just cut these little birds out. And when I cut them out, I just didn't worry too much about, you know, the white space around them. I just kind of did a really quick, just kind of cut around it, kind of like that. It's going on white, so you really can't tell anyway. So don't, you know, don't let that kind of get you too worked up. It's really not that bad. Okay, now when you get a big glob of glue like that, now that could be a problem, you know, that could be a problem there, um, but you know, we'll fix that, not a big deal. Um, okay, so how about we stamp a sentiment? So I have um, Pretty Peacock, which I think is now one of my most favorite colors. It's funny how I loved it before, but now like I like love it where I can't stop using it. It's quite interesting, really, how that happens. Um, you know, you kind of forget about a color and then all of a sudden you discover it and you're like, okay, every card I make now has pretty peacock in it, <laughs> right? You guys know what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm just gonna stamp this straight down and straight up, life is beautiful. And that is our peacock. And so what I decided was, all right, so if I'm gonna add that, Let's see, I want Life is Beautiful. I could certainly do a banner, but instead what I decided to do was let's just cut it out and we'll just add it to the top of our card, okay? And you know, I just thought it was kind of cool. You guys have seen me do this before. I love kind of this paper piecing, if you will. Um, and so I'm just kind of free handing it around my sentiment. I want kind of the curvy lines or the curvy curviness, if you will, not worrying too much about getting any of the crevices, um, you know, because it's on white, so you don't have to get too crazy. And you can see when I do this, I'm actually moving my paper around. My scissors aren't actually moving. So that's kind of how I do it, as I just kind of move the scissors around. Um, and I'm sorry, not the scissors, but the paper moves around. All right, so let's put this guy together and see what it looks like. Now, it's funny, I, um, I did one earlier and I did it in soft suede, like I mentioned, an old olive. So I'll show it to you and I'll see what you guys think. Um, I personally liked this one a little bit better in early espresso. It was interesting, um, you know, to see kind of the difference. It really did make a difference. And then on the other one, I added Baker's Twine. So this one I kept simple and I really liked it a lot. Sometimes less is more, right? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna add this in the center of our card, just like that, okay? And then we have our Life is Beautiful and to kind of make it easier, 
we could use a mini glue dot, you know, because now I'm a little gun shy with my glue, <laughs> my green glue that I love so much that I'm a little heavy handed today. All right, so here we go. So then what I decided was, all right, I'm gonna put that right about there. Life is beautiful. Yay! Okay, so that could be a spring or a summer card, right? And you could certainly embellish it if you wanted to. You could add, you know, maybe a jewel rhinestone or something if you wanted to. I honestly liked it simple. I kept it simple and I liked it that way. Um, you know, there is kind of a, you know, kind of this could maybe be like water or ground or dirt or grass. So you could certainly do that. I did toy with that a little bit and started to kind of play with that a little bit. You can see this is soft suede and this was actually garden green. But I also did this card, like I mentioned earlier. I did it in, um, actually this is not the right one, here we go. So I did it in um, the soft suede and old olive. I just didn't think it popped quite as much. I thought it popped quite a lot nicer over here, doesn't it? So, you know, just play with it and see what kind of colors you come up with and what you really like. Um, so I hope you guys like that one. Yeah, it's pretty easy, pretty simple, um, you know, but that's where I like to start. I like to kind of get those ideas and inspiration. So if you like it, Dylan wants me to tell you guys, make sure you give me a thumbs up, pretty please, okay? Um, so if you like it, definitely give me a thumbs up. And then on the inside here, let me show you this. I added um, some pretty peacock in here and just a little piece. I just thought it was kind of, um, it really kind of played on the sentiment and the birds to kind of open it up and see the peacock on the inside. So I thought that was quite nice. And just another way to shake things up. Okay, so the next card I'm gonna show you, I didn't love. I feel like it needed a little something more. I couldn't quite figure it out, but you guys know me. I like to show you everything and I'd like to show you my process. So I decided, okay, well, how about taking and making my leaves the background? Now I feel like this needs to be mounted with another color behind it, like a mat, um, you know, but I think it would be, I think the idea is coming along and it's there. I just haven't gotten there yet. So definitely leave me some comments on like what you think you would do with that card. Cause I love, you know, I love to hear your ideas and, you know, and see what you guys say. I do like it, but I think maybe we could do a little bit something more. Don't you? Pretty cool. All right, so moving on. So we've got summer and spring, but now let's go to fall. It's time for some fall colors. All right, so it has been beautiful here in the Carolinas. Um, the weather has been absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I have just loved, loved it. Um, been spending a lot of time outside with the boys and soccer and all that good stuff. It's been really, really nice. Okay, so we have soft suede, and that is the color that I did the tree, all right? I have terracotta tile, um, and then I have pumpkin pie, and I have crushed curry. Now it's interesting because I was driving in um, to the neighborhood and honestly, I feel like I saw rich razzleberry at the top of the trees um, Lots of trees with kind of the rich razzleberry kind of that deep purpley dark cherry cobbler red So I think there's lots of different ways that you could do this. Maybe the Cajun craze color as well um, So, you know, this is just where I started But of course you guys can change it up and do it your way Okay, because there is no right or wrong way. All right so I have my leaves and let me let me get my example I gotta look at it here just to make sure that I stamp it right okay so again some of my ink pads are quite juicy um, and so this one here is terracotta tile and I'm probably gonna start there now I found that terracotta tile is pretty dark and it's pretty juicy and I don't get the image that I love so I stamp off and then I stamp it on top of my card okay so that's where i go with my terracotta tile and i'm going to do a couple of those and again there is no right or wrong way to this i am just enjoying what i'm doing and just giving it a shot you know i mean 
There's no right or wrong way to any of this, okay? But if you're gonna change colors, hi, Lauren. Hello, hello, I sent you a package today, my friend. Okay, so I've also got, like I said, pumpkin pie. And I would test it, make sure that, you know, that looks like it's stamping quite nicely. So let's see, let's go ahead and add some pumpkin pie in here. Oh yeah, now we're starting to come along with some, some fall colors, right? I love it, I love, love, love. So if you've ever visited the Carolinas in the mountains, um, you know, in Asheville or in the mountains, this time of the year is just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, so then we're gonna go to crushed curry. Now you might try bumblebee if you have bumblebee. Of course, I'm stamping off. You can see it's quite juicy on that stamp pad. So there's bumblebee as an option. You might even try daffodil delight as an option. Um, and if you don't have either of those, well, go pick up a so saffron if you have it. There is, you know, there is no right or wrong way. Just have fun with it, really, okay? So I'm gonna add that one right about there. I love how the yellow um, or the crushed curry really kind of pop it, doesn't it? It just makes it stunning. So I'm gonna set this aside. I am gonna clean it off and it's definitely coming along and looking like fall, which I love. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I have the stamp set or the stamp thinking of you also inside of the life is beautiful stamp set and we're gonna ink that up in well can you believe I've already forgotten huh, I tell you so that one is not forgotten what to ink it up and forgot what colors were in front of me all right so we're gonna go early as actually know what we're gonna do soft suede because we did soft suede in our tree we wouldn't want to go early espresso because that would be very very much different so we're gonna ink it up and I generally like to stamp it one time to kind of get my feel for it. And that looks pretty darn good. So we're gonna ink it up and let's stamp it right there, okay? Now it's interesting because I felt like, you know, I felt like it actually was quite nice if you take Cajun Craze and you stamp it again. And you know how we cut out the first sentiment? If you cut out the U in the Cajun Craze, check this out, check out how pretty oh my gosh right doesn't that just like take it to the next level it really does it's so pretty um that's pretty it is but um you know taking that you and taking it you know just to another color and and making it stand out is quite quite nice just like that see awesome okay so let me just close up all of my things here because we have you know quite a lot here all right so um let me grab this all right perfect okay so we're gonna set that out of the way and now what we're gonna do is i actually already mounted this on purpose so that i could show it to you and so i have here terracotta tile and I have bumblebee. So I liked kind of the bumblebee for this one, even though this is crushed curry, I liked that bumblebee was kind of a deeper, um, kind of a deeper yellow, if you will. And so that's where I ended up going with that. And so let's put a little bit of liquid adhesive. All right, and we're gonna add that right inside the terracotta tile, just like that. Oh my goodness, it's coming along beautifully, isn't it? And so we are totally headed into fall. And so then I thought, well, you know what? What if we take our holiday rhinestones and you know, there is, um, there's these beautiful gems in here that I thought would be absolutely the perfect embellishment. Who needs your scissors when they just stick to your fingers, you know? I mean, it's probably because I just like dumped a ton of glue <laughs> on my project. Oh, that's so funny. Alrighty, so here we go. I am just kind of adding my gems sort of randomly on here. Um, I probably will do like five or six maybe, maybe five. You know, let's see, where do you guys think? Maybe in here, yeah. And so at least one more for sure. At least one more. Oh, no, 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 I need one more. 
See, I could just keep going and going. Where do we want this one? Maybe right up in here? Yeah, why not? Okay, so there you have it. This is my fun, this is a fall card, right? So I just thought this was super cool and super fun and quite, quite easy to do. And it just gives you another look, you know, along with your summer card, right? So what do you guys think? Do you like it? Yes, well, give me thumbs up if you like it. Give me some love. <laughs> I have my, my, my 12 year old is coaching me. Mom, tell him again. <laughs> so, okay. Um, all right, so definitely hit the like button. Yes, definitely hit the like button. So Dylan says, you know, make sure you do that, Mom. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you guys is and it appears that I may have forgotten to cut my cardstock so you know I always have my cutter here on purpose so that I can um, you know so that I can show you guys so I'm gonna just go ahead and cut this really quick of course I will share sizes and dimensions and so forth on Brandy's cards all right so I do want to give a shout out to grandma Nana who's hundred and two watching tonight um, my mother-in-law said, Nana's going to watch. So Miss uh, Grandma Nana is 102 years young, and I'm so happy that you're in here with us watching tonight. We love you, Nana. All right. So, you know, I have to wipe off my block because this is the block that I did the green in. You guys see that? Oh, my. Yeah, didn't think about that. <laughs> so, all right, I have Peacock here. There's my Peacock. And check this out. So I just thought this was kind of cool. So again, I wanted to show you some different ways to use a stamp set. And so we did the very traditional ways, right? We used the, um, you know, we used the tree. And so that kind of is what the stamp set is about, right? Is the tree and the birdhouse and the different seasons. But what about kind of highlighting the hello? And so what I decided was, let's take the hello. And what if we just stamped our hello across the cardstock, right? Kind of like that. And you know, I'm gonna stamp off and kind of make my way across. Now it does look like I might need my paper, you know. And over here, this one is going to be stamped off. So I kind of did every other one. Now I'm doing this quickly, but I think you guys are gonna get the hang of it quite quickly. And so see how that's kind of coming together? And so maybe, you know, and I also kind of liked it um, where it wasn't like totally even. I liked it kind of offset, if you will, of, of the different hellos. So if you stamp all the way down, you get this really cool background that says, um, hello, 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 just like that, all right? So I just thought that was really cool. So then what I ended up doing after I created the background is I kept it simple and I decided well, let's go ahead and finish making a card with it. And so here is the card that I created. So isn't that fun? Super simple. And you know, it's funny because a part of me is like, well, is there too much white space down here? Do I need something more? I'll be honest with you, the more I look at it, the more I love it. And I love that it's simple. I do, I love the hello. I love that I focus on the hello. I've got the two different colored birds in here. Maybe you do a red bird house. Maybe that's the little extra tidbit that I'm missing that I might want to do. You know, you could cut yourself out a red bird house or maybe a blue bird house or maybe a green bird house. I don't know, um, you know, but you could totally, you know, kind of switch it up if you want. And then I had some extra um, balmy blue left over and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do my envelope too. So I just thought that was a super cool card that you could send to somebody. And I liked how my birdhouse kind of looks like it's hanging down from the hello. Um, I'll be honest, I hadn't seen any cards using kind of that idea. So I was really excited um, to share that with you. All right, so you like it simple too, Penny. Yeah, I do, I like it simple. Um, 
and I just I think it's really kind of fun now you know Robin's in here and Robin shared with me the um, the champagne mist you know the shimmer mist and you know you could put it with part alcohol and you could spritz that and it would make a wonderfully shimmery background that would be beautiful so that is um, that's an idea as well all right so then I will be honest with you so then I was like okay so here <laughs> let me show you this all right so for those of you that are on here with me what are those dots for I want someone to tell me are those apples or are those snow <laughs> I'm gonna wait a second and I'm gonna see what y'all are gonna tell me that those dots are apples circles yeah, they were definitely circles um, okay so I couldn't figure it out nope couldn't figure it out but what I did figure out was they're the coolest circles I have seen in a really long time <laughs> seriously I mean you guys are like really brandy <laughs> they are so cool and, and Doug is laughing and so is Amanda but when I showed it to Amanda she was like oh my god those are cool circles they are cool they're so cool okay so um, so what is snow okay those are some big snows I don't want it to snow like that here <laughs> um, raindrops okay splotches yes I called them splotches too rocks well I don't think we're gonna put rocks on top of our tree um, but that's a good guess but you know what they could be rocks on the ground um, you know I don't know so anyway I couldn't figure it out um, nope couldn't figure it out you know what let's look and see if Stampin' Up used them in here oh they did look at that they kind of look like apples although they're not really hanging from the tree in any specific way so I wasn't sure um, but here we go so I pulled out oh no real red no 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 we're not using real red we're gonna go magenta madness all the way here we go so you guys are gonna be like oh yeah those are some cool dots and you're gonna feel Valentine's Day seriously you're gonna put a heart on this and be like BAM I got my Valentine's Day card true story um, okay so let me pull in a piece of scrap and here we go you guys ready for some magic you guys are like we've seen dots before no these are cool dots really cool dots oh look at that those are cool dots oh that was a bad dot probably need to bring in my little pierce mat huh if you guys have problems with photopolymer sometimes bring in your pierce mat it definitely helps the good thing is is we have two sides to every sheet of paper so I'm gonna go ahead and just stamp these for a little bit and show you guys how fun these are so you know I just think they're so cool and they're like different dimensions right so that is really cool so you don't have to stamp off really of course unless you want to um, but you get this like fun pattern it's really cool it could totally be in like splotches of water or snow you could do that for sure I was just a little perplexed on what I was going to use it for my tree um, okay so here we go I'm gonna take that out of the way so don't you think that would be like a super fun Valentine background at least I think that would be super fun do you guys think so okay well I'm excited to use that for a background but I also did it in some I think this was old olive and I thought that was super cool too kind of reminds me of a frog I don't know why but it does okay so then what I decided was since I'm on this like pretty peacock kick with my cards today I thought well I'm gonna go pretty peacock so here we go let me show you my pretty peacock card so let's take those away and so this one is the one that I did with pretty peacock yeah so see how fun is that so it was just kind of a fun background um, maybe it's a wet day I don't know um, but life is beautiful and I thought that the blue gems just gave it this like beautiful these gems are amazing I have to tell you they are just these gems are one of the top selling gems out of the holiday catalog very very nice and so I put it right on the uh, the dot for the eye and I just thought it was a really nice touch and it kind of you know it went along with the you know the snow the water the splotches um, super fun and I left you know and I basically this is old olive 
this is terracotta tile and then i stamped my birdhouse on the card or on the cardstock in pretty pink i'm sorry pretty peacock and then i stamped um, another one and i actually cut it out and put it on top so this way i didn't have to mess with the birds stamp it straight down on in pretty peacock the birds are there and then if you stamp it again on scrap paper and early espresso and you cut it out then you can put it quite easily on there okay so i hope you guys like that yeah you guys think so yeah so how fun so we've done the oh you know here hey look at this so i took and had an extra piece of the um, balmy blue and just did the life is beautiful on there so that was kind of fun something a little bit different right and of course you know you've got your hello which is also quite fabulous um, and just kind of trying to dress up the envelope a little bit for you there. Um, you know, I have been really enjoying my thick cardstock and quite simple. I like the simplicity of these cards and how quick I find that, um, you know, with all the things going on in the world today, I've, I'm sending more cards than I've ever sent and I need more cards because I feel like there's a lot of people that need joy and need to be lifted up right now. So um, I'm just really excited about these and I hope that you like them too. Okay, so I'm going to bring in, so I thought I was like totally prepared, but it's not until you get live that you realize, huh, okay, well, you might have been prepared, but maybe not totally prepared. Um, but the good thing is, is I have my cutter and I have my cardstock here. And so this is Balmy Blue. I'm going to cut it again here. All right. So let's have a look at that stamp set, guys, and see what have we not used all right so where's that stamp set okay i'm gonna look over and say hi to you guys hi donna from door country county <laughs> and we have nancy in here crystal denise denise oh my goodness denise was so sweet um denise sent me the cutest little gift and I just want to thank you for that um, she felt bad for me that I didn't have my embossing powder and she sent me some embossing powder and I really appreciate it and I've absolutely used it so thank you for sending that to me all right so let's talk about the stamp that we haven't used we've got the tree we have the birdhouse we have the leaves and we've used the dots but we haven't used the snowflakes now, if you look at the Stampin' Up! catalog, you'll see in here that they embossed in white, right? And they added some blue gems. So you could certainly do that and you could make kind of a snowy type card, right? But what if you take those dots and just kind of how we did the, um, we did the other, um, we did the other card. and i have got my snowflakes here and i am going to stamp my little snowflakes and so look how fun those are and so those are a super fun background as well honestly these would be great for the fourth of july too i could see you stamp those in you know red white and blue and make um you know make a fourth of july festive type card right so let's see I am kind of making my way around and there is, you know, no right or wrong way on any of it. Just, you know, I'm just trying to kind of fill all the little spaces. Um, you know, I try to work, honestly, this part right here is going to have, you know, the sentiment. So I'm not too concerned about the middle. It's the edges and things that I'm mostly concerned about getting and here we go and so here we go got a couple more okay so I think that's perfect all right so check out that so isn't that a fun look I mean I think that's a super fun look and I just thought okay well what can we do with that so we've got um, you know we've got that look and so I thought well let's do this let's start simple and here is the card that I designed with that background. Again, super simple. You could certainly, um, you know, you could certainly layer, you know, some ribbon in here if you would like. Um, 
you know and I also added the blue gem so that's on there as well you could certainly add some of those blue gems throughout your card too um, and then on the inside I had an extra strip that I had stamped so I just added that across the bottom I thought that was quite nice just a little extra something so I was looking at the cards and I'm thinking okay we have summer and we have like spring and summer we have fall we have our dots right and we've got some snow and i'm thinking the only thing that i haven't seen so far is kind of a winter look right so how about we try that so let me show you what i did and so you know you could do lots of different things remember you could take these little snowflakes and emboss them in white um, but i decided that i really liked this background and it felt very wintry to me so what i ended up doing is I stamped the background here we go and this was the winter version that I came up with and so this is our host code gift from last month it's the adhesive back snowflakes absolutely love them so I'm excited I just got my host code gifts so I'll be sending those out this week this coming week and uh, for those of you that picked that as a gift you will absolutely love them so this is early espresso and then I added the snowflakes and I added some jewel rhinestones in here. And then of course I stamped my life is beautiful and peacock on the balmy blue, wrapped that around. And then I thought I would kind of take it a bit further and decorate the inside as well as my envelope. And I think, did I, yeah, I put life is beautiful on the front of the envelope too. So it was just a nice piece of stationery and it kind of gave me that um, snowflakey winter feel as well. Um, and I did add those snowflakes here to the back. Um, you know, of course, you, you certainly don't have to, um, but I did like it a lot. And I started adding them and I couldn't stop. It was like, they're so fun and they're so easy to add that I just was like, okay, more and more and more. <laughs> um, so, all righty, what do you guys think? So we've got some fun cards in here. I'd love to know which one is your favorite. Um, you know, they're all a little different and that's what I love. And um, I wanted to show you the variety and you know some different things that you could do with this stamp set. You know, sometimes when we look at a stamp set such as this one, we see the traditional view of the tree and we think, okay, the tree has to always be the focus. Um, sometimes we forget about the little background stamps um, that can also create quite a beautiful image. Um, when when you kind of you know add it in a decorative way so I just thought that was a super fun you know some fun cards for you guys and I was so excited to share so if you like them definitely please click the like button um, that would be much appreciated and if you haven't already subscribed to Brandy's cards please do so I know I've gotten some emails from some of you guys that you're like now why can't I comment in the live feeds well it's because you have to have a gmail account and you also have to uh, have a youtube account now that doesn't mean you have to post videos or do videos but you have to sign up for one after you get your gmail um, and then you should be able to uh, leave comments all right so um, i appreciate you guys you guys like the winner card oh i'm excited that you guys liked them um, i had so much fun pulling them together and and kind of working on them and trying to show you some different ideas, some different inspiration. Um, I think I have a hard time picking my favorite, um, but I love the dots and I love the snowflake background. Um, but I think I still kind of go back to the very first card that we did, which was on the white cardstock. Um, that was quite simple. I just think that one is um, quite a lovely card as well. So, all right, I thought you needed a snowman. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Um, well, it is just so good to see everybody in here. So before I go, I've got some cards in the mail. And again, I just can't thank you enough um, for your beautiful cards that you send me. I absolutely love them. I enjoy opening them and ooing and eyeing over them. So um, as a matter of fact, Amanda, she also is, you know, oohs and ahs with me and is like, oh my gosh, and it's so fun. Um, so I will be sharing, you know, cards every, you know, every video. So it is pretty awesome. And um, if you are interested in sending us a card in the mail, we'd love to receive one. Um, and so I think Amanda will probably share that address. And so you'll be able to see that here in the feed. Okay. 
All righty, so let me grab my first card. So let me show you Denise's little gift. That was super cute. So cute. Oh, and she had it wrapped nicely and her box is all decorated. Miss Denise, thank you so much for being so sweet and so thoughtful. Um, I did not have the embossing powder and so I was <laughs> grateful when I got it and I've used it. So thank you so much for that. All right, so let's see here. I'm gonna pull out some of these cards. All right, so I have to show you this one. I got this today from Walter Fava. And so Walter's been a customer with me for quite some time and um, he is just so creative so creative and I remember last year's card that he sent me as well um, and it's just so beautiful so he made his own envelope right and then when you pull it out just a really fun Halloween card right and then when you open it up here let me show you this so you open it up and look how fun he's got the cute little bat in there and um, that paper is so fun. It almost looks glimmery, kind of. Um, and I just love it. And then on the back, 2020. So what a fun way to like put the date of your card, right? Um, I just thought that was super, super cool how he did that. And I just absolutely love your card. And I'm so grateful um, that you think of me and that you send it my way. So thank you for that. Okay, so I got a chuckle out of this one. This one is um, from the Goat Stamp Set. Now, if I showed this before, I apologize. I don't think that I did, um, but if I did, I apologize. It's just such a cute card. I'm excited to share it again. Um, I got you a cake, <laughs> but I ate it. <laughs> That's like me, you know, if I make a pumpkin pie, I, I can't get out of the house to go to a party with it. I eat it. Um, and so this is so fun. It's on like a little spring. So cool, and it kind of like, <laughs> It is so cute. So I just, you know, I just wanted to say thank you. So this card came um, from Susie and it's absolutely beautiful. So thank you, Susie, for that adorable card. I love it, so nice. Um, this one is from Carrie. And this one I thought was super fun, how she um, stamped her girl on some designer series paper and then she cut out her outfit. So that's like paper dolls, like so cool. Um, you know, so much fun. I just thought that was really, really cool. And so I'm so excited to share her card with you. And this is, um, looks like an embossing folder here in the background. So very, very pretty. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so here is a sparkly thank you. And this one is from Sheila. And look at that fun sparkly thank you. So pretty, I absolutely love it. And so, um, you know, that looks like a background stamp to me. So maybe not DSP, but a background stamp. So nice, really, really pretty. And it looks like maybe some shimmer paint on here as well. Um, so Sheila, thank you for that beautiful card. And then this one I think was one of my most favorite designer series papers. I can't remember the name of it. It was painted something. Um, and this one's from Sharon. And I think I had some of this paper in my clearance rack and it was so hard for me to like, or in my retired store. I love this paper. I can't remember the name of it, but it is so beautiful. And your card is stunning. I love, I love the way that the triangles go into the image. So nice. And then she also did her envelope that coordinated. So I just thought that was super cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay. And the next one is from Marilyn. And she did the braided card technique. Um, so check that out, the braided card technique. Love that. If you haven't done the braided card, I do have a video on that. So you'll have to go back to my videos and you'll see that or go to Brandy's Cards and type in braided card and that tutorial will come up or the template. Um, but just another really beautiful card. Um, I just love it. Celebrating fall. It says, happy fall, y'all. So we use that a lot, a lot around here in the South. Um, so Marilyn, thank you for that beautiful card. So nice. All right, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. So here, this set was really pretty. I actually gave this set to the neighbor girl who was having a birthday. She loves unicorns. They're quite magical, yeah. And um, as a young girl, I used to watch, um, I don't, can't remember the name of it, but it was like a unicorn cartoon. I had a lot of My Little Ponies too. <laughs> but um, uh, I just, I love unicorns, so pretty, so pretty. And this one's from Katie. So Katie, thank you for that card. 
And then I've got, looks like I've got two more. So this one's from Sophia and it is a beautiful card with a beautiful message. The pocket is so much fun. I love the pocket. Um, just really, really cool. And let's see here. Don't you dare throw this away. Okay, Sophia, that is super cute. We gotta know where you got that little message. Don't you dare throw it away. <laughs> I love it. It was too much work. Don't you throw away my handmade card, right? I absolutely think it's adorable. And she's also got a made for you um, by me stamp and she signed her name, so super cute. Thank you, Sophia, for that cool card. I love it. And so here's another fall card with some pumpkins and this one's from Diana. And it's so fun. Those are really fun little die cuts and she's got the happy fall in there. So cool, such a cute card. And so I do have one more. I'm gonna show you one more that I have sitting here. So this is from Lisa. Lisa's one of my team members. And this is such a beautiful card. So nice. And so it looks like maybe the crackled paint or the crackled background. Um, so pretty. So, so nice. I absolutely love it. So thank you, Lisa, for sending me that card. So I have some others here, but I'm going to save them for next time. All right. So I hope that you guys will join me next week. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to create with. Honestly, what's on my mind right now are the gnomes. I love the gnomes. So um, I hope that uh, you guys will join me for that. Of course, if you're one of my current customers, thank you so much for your business. I'm truly grateful. Um, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, be sure to reach out to me. I'd love to help you and earn your business. And if you're one of my team members in here, one of my blooms and butterflies, I love you. And I'm also so grateful for you and appreciate you being here and sharing tonight and maybe answering some questions. And um, so thank you. I really, truly appreciate that. All right, so I think that's it for me today. Don't forget this month's host code is at Brandy's Cards, or you can email me for that. Um, and so I hope that you guys get some crafting in. Um, you know, prayers go out to those in Louisiana. I know the storm is coming on shore. And so, you know, praying for everybody's safety and for this thing to pass through quickly. Um, you know, here in the Carolinas, I think we're supposed to get a bunch of rain, so, or some rain. So that means that more time in my craft room, <laughs> right? Um, not as much yard work. Um, so thank you guys so much for joining me. I, I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions, send me an email, reach out to me. I'd love to help you. Okay. Take care, everybody. Bye now.